Before I get started, I'd like to identify the terms hipster and retro gamer according to UrbanDictionary.com. The term hipster is cross-applied from the 1930s beatniks. The modern hipster is a composite of individuals with a certain bohemian life situation and lifestyle. He or she rejects mainstream culture and embraces and contributes to independent culture and prides him slash herself on this. The modern hipster image has been proliferated through the internet, publications such as Vice Magazine, and sightings in the music, fashion, and art world. The image of the hipster is constantly changing, but several aspects have stayed consistent over time. Let's analyze that for a second. Hipsters reject the mainstream, however they are growing into the mainstream. Of course, hipsters would constantly be changing with the times. I would say the hipster subculture embraces the things from their childhood and expresses its superiority to things and traditions of today. Now on to retro gamers. A gamer who plays older systems like arcade games, Atari, NES, Game Boy Pocket, Super Nintendo, Sega Dreamcast, N64, PS1, Game Boy Color, ECT. Simple enough explanation. But you may be wondering how these two things correlate together. As of late, I've noticed a lot of hipsters claiming to be retro gamers. Now this could be true, they could be dressing like an extremely obscure faggot and be playing retro games as well. But it's those one people who buy a Game Boy just to show their friends how awesome they are at Pokemon when really, there's no batteries in the thing, and probably never will be. Just because a gamer owns retro consoles, that doesn't make them a hipster. I can honestly say I dress quite normal, but I own some older consoles. I also own the 25th anniversary Zelda 3DS, and I do buy from the virtual console section of the eShop. A lot of people call me a hipster because of it, when really, I just enjoy the quality of older retro games. Just because a hipster owns an older console, that doesn't make them a retro gamer. Being a hipster is a mainstream thing. Hipsters tend to follow what is cool or nostalgic regardless of how stupid it makes them look. I expressed this feeling the other day when I posted a status on Facebook about an experience I had with somebody at my school who said they loved Daft Punk, where I wrote, So I'm a douche. I put the Discovery album by Daft Punk on my iPod with Human After All, and I have every song on there but Harder, Better, Faster, Stronger. Most people go, I love Daft Punk, and right after say, I don't know any of these songs. Some examples of a hipster would be, I love The Legend of Zelda. Did you hear about Ben Drowned? Pokemon Yellow is my favorite because Pikachu's cute. Or lastly, yeah, yeah, I loved Yu-Gi-Oh! I have so many cards! And when they show you the cards, they have mad edgeware and are bent. Now, some examples of a retro gamer would be, I've played most of the games from the Zelda series, and they're quite good, although the newer game was extremely easy and doesn't feel as complex as older Zelda games, but still has the charm of one. Any Pokemon game is good. I normally pick the fire type starter. Or, Yu-Gi-Oh has gone to shit since they started adding XYZ cards. <laughs>